uh, like uh, Sheikh would tell, it has made the, our work very difficult. Very, very difficult. Because when you are preaching, all somebody is thinking of what? Terrorism. In fact, when I had a media encounter, I was surprised if terrorism came out. Now, there is no teaching that is more clear and vivid about terrorism than what pertains in Islam. Terrorism is targeting innocent people with a view of maiming or killing them or spread, spread, spreading fear and panic. Now we and I know the issue of murder, of innocent lives. That when you kill one person, the burden you carry is like killing the whole of humanity. Tell me which creed or which thinking or which school of thought has this kind of teaching? The killing of a soul is equivalent to the killing of all humanity, tell me. So it's clear. Look, it's very clear. But you see, at times, and do again, take it from me, you cannot rationalize, you cannot find space for the killing of innocent people. But listen, I have this view. That in our discourse, let's not shift the goalpost. When Sani Basiru kills, and because he says Allahu Akbar, you say that is Islamic terrorism. No, I don't allow that. That is him killing. Now, cast your mind back last two weeks. An, an American boy was he carrying the white supremacy flag, went into a black church and killed people, about nine, including an innocent pastor. Have we said Islamic, uh, why the youth of America, whites are terrorists? No. Have you had any discussion to that effect? Please, don't shy away where you are come from. What, like, I have never ever, from Ghana to all the parts of the UK I have traveled, encounter white people on terrorism and having war. You don't need to be apologetic. Condemn it. Look, it's not allowed. Don't rationalize it. Boko Haram. It's not allowed. It's utter un-Islamic. But watch it. Boko Haram had a leader in which they were espousing some funny un-Islamic views. And that was among it's like saying that, look, if you go to school and men and boys have to, and girls have to mix and they are teaching them, it's anti-Islam. So Boko Haram. They were saying some past. What happened? Under Umar Yaradua, under the vice presidency of uh, good, uh, good Luck Jonathan, they went and slaughtered them. Now tell me, which part of the world have people been attacked and killed because of their views? Tell me. Tell me. If you want to tell me. Where? We have people in Ghana at times who will go to Abokobe and come and say, look, we think heavens is going to open. Have you sent soldiers to kill them? In America, people hold all sorts of views, gay, and all those funny things. Who has killed them? So why should some people under some small sect go into a some small corner of Nigeria? They pray five times a day. They do it and just say that, hey, you look, you are not supposed to be mixing when you do this and that. Hey, hey, those people, that's all. Those things people share across them. Why were they attacked? There's a Uganda proverb that, look, if you are stung by a bee, you don't go attacking all beehives. Because when you do that, they scatter and spread. So that we say was attacked because that he had nuclear weapons. Later we discovered that an innocent student thesis was what was used to make a case for war. It has said to be a pack of lies. What are you talking about? So please, the discussion on terrorism does not start and end by just saying that Islam condemns it and it's not allowed. We go into it. We go. I go. Go into it because you, whether you like it or not, in your class, in your office, you'll be asked. Don't shy away. Let them, when you tell them this, they also accept it. They also accept it. Cuba, for many years, were under an embargo. Today, are they not out of the embargo? Because they were not attacked. So why didn't you attack Cuba and you now go and attack Saddam Hussein? You go and attack Afghanistan. On what? 
They clearly deny what happens in September 11. Those they do, they accept it. Are we better off today? So Judge Galloway will tell you, look, there's a swamp of hatred that you people have built until you are able to cancel and to diminish that swamp. 